I know y'all just heard Rose. I know y'all just heard Rosemary. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Dalen, and I'm here in Los Angeles, California. It took me a while to get here, y'all. We were stuck in Hawaii for a little bit, and I have a layover in Los Angeles, so I thought maybe I could hop in a car and go to a couple of places and try to do a couple of investigations while I'm here. So I'm taking y'all with me like I always do. So let's see what we can get accomplished in the next couple of hours. What's up, my fellow graveyard shifters? We are in the heart of Los Angeles. And it's crazy, because look at all these skyscrapers. And who would think that some of Los Angeles' most notorious celebrities are literally buried <laughs> right underneath <laughs> all of these skyscrapers? So we're headed to the Pierce Brothers Cemetery in Westwood Village. So they say it's kind of uh, ducked off like in some alley you have to go down some alley so i'm trying to find it y'all so give me a second and we're gonna get to it all right y'all back on my urban exploration tip i don't know where i'm going i'm trying to use the map but they're doing a lot of building over here literally right next to all of these different to these graves man that's crazy you would think people like Marilyn Monroe or Hugh Hefner, they would be ducked off in some special graveyard. But no, they're literally right here in the heart of LA. And I'm trying to figure out how, maybe it's this way. Maybe it's this way. I don't know, I'm about to see. I'm about to figure it out. But I don't know how I feel about that. You're right off one of the busiest streets in LA. <laughs> like you would have for sure thought that they would have been, I don't know, man, somewhere, Beverly Hills, somewhere in the hills, hills, hills. Uh-oh, y'all, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. All right, family. We're here at the Pierce Brothers Westwood Village Memorial Park and Mortuary. They got like the big Hollywood gates. That's kind of cool. But again, busiest street in LA. <laughs> okay, first impressions. Oh, they're having a funeral over here. Dang it. I mean, rest in peace to whoever passed away. We gonna move around, we gonna find a we gonna find an area. This cemetery is really small. It's small, but so many people are buried here. Let's see if I can do a quick round. They're taking care of the lawns. We very rarely get to see the people that take care of the areas once people are laid to rest. So salute to those people that make sure our final resting areas are, you know, kept or upkept. I always think it's cool when people have their faces. Aziz Rafi, one of the first pioneers of the film industry, director, producer, and a and DP in Iran. That's cool. It's early in the morning, so this is a different vibe. We haven't been to a cemetery, I feel like, this early. Okay, they're not doing a funeral. I think they're just cleaning the cars that are here. How do y'all feel about this cemetery? What are the vibes? All right, let's see if we can 
find some of the celebrity graves that are here. Wow. Blessings to everyone that's resting here. We come just to speak and show our respects and pay our respect. Sunny Los Angeles. I don't know, this place is real quaint. I don't think I would be mad about being here. And you don't really even hear the traffic off the street. Eh, a little bit, <laughs> but not as bad as you would think. I don't know why I figured this place would be a lot larger. Wow, y'all, for all of my horror movie fans, man. Oh, we might do a spirit box session right here because it's a lot quieter over here. This is the grave of little Heather O'Rourke. So for everyone who doesn't know who Heather O'Rourke is, she's the little girl that played Carol Ann in the Poltergeist movies. So for people that don't know the story, they say that she passed away under mysterious circumstances at the age of 12. So people are wondering like, was it the effect of the movie Poltergeist? And as you can see, it says Carol Ann, Poltergeist 1, 2, and 3. Like, was it the effects of the movie? Or was there something deeper, darker? I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can try to find some information on it. I might try to put it in here. But uh, yeah, this might be a cool place to do a spirit box session too. While we wait for them to you know, quiet other places. But this is dope. At least she's off to the side. And look who else is here. Truman Capote. I believe he was a author, poet, author. One of the two. 1924 to 1984. Man, it's a lot of cool people buried over here, man. We for sure gonna do a spirit box session over here. All right, my graveyard shifters, we're here. We're at uh, Hugh Hefner and Marilyn Monroe's gravesite. So what's crazy about this, Marilyn Monroe died in 1962. Hugh Hefner didn't die until 2017. So before he died, he actually bought this space right here for $75,000, just so he could be buried next to Marilyn Monroe. Now, a lot of people feel like that was kind of weird and awkward because they felt like they exploited her. Like he bought her nudes and then repurposed them for his magazine without their permission. And then he just, you know, bought this, this, this site next to her after she died so he could be buried next to her. And I don't even think they really even met before. Like, it was just like this weird obsession that people feel like, uh, you know, Hugh Hefner had with Marilyn Monroe. So hopefully we can do a spirit box session between the both of them and just see what kind of answers and responses we can get. I will be laid to rest there as well, uh, in, a, in, a, in a vault right next to hers. How important is that for you? And well, why? I certainly has a, has a very kind of uh, uh, completion notion to it. Um, yeah, I will be spending the rest of eternity with, with Marilyn. All right, so uh, for y'all that don't know, you know, Hugh Hefner, Marilyn Monroe, anyone here that's around, uh, my name is Dalen Spratt. I come to places like this and I try to speak to those who maybe haven't been spoken to in a long time. So feel free to talk to me. Hugh, you're familiar with cameras and production, bro, so you you should come through loud and clear. Marilyn, you know, you know the lights, camera, and action. If y'all feel like talking, feel like putting on another show, I would appreciate y'all talking back to me. Does anyone here want to talk to me? Put this in.
Is Marilyn here? Wait. Is Hugh Hefner here? I'm going to let y'all warm up a second. I just want y'all to know I come in peace and respect. Marilyn, do you like when people come kiss your tomb? How does it make you feel that you're still remembered years after you passed away? Is that good? Do you miss being here? Usually. What do you miss the most, Marilyn? There. Say, man, I don't know if you know, but you've become like this cultural icon since you passed away. How does that make you feel in the afterlife? Now, people said you was, excuse me if I'm getting personal, but people said you was messing around with the president, John F. Kennedy, and all of that. Where? I said, where? Man, it was all in the media. No. No? Were people lying on you? Yeah. Yeah. Were you very, let me ask you this, being a, a, a cultural icon like you were, were you insecure? Do you wish that you lived longer than you did? No. Did you know that you were going to die early? So how do you feel about you being here with you? Okay, Hugh, are you here? Do you got something you want to say? All right. It's getting loud again. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm going to come back. All right, y'all. We're back at the grave site of Hugh Hefner, Marilyn Monroe. It's quiet now, so hopefully we can get a whole lot better response. So I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Can I speak with either Marilyn or Hugh Hefner? Okay. Is Marilyn here? Might be. Might be. Well, how can I know for sure if Miss Marilyn is here? Is is Hugh Hefner here? So Hugh, why did you want to be buried right next to Marilyn? Not really. Not really. I mean, would you pay seventy-five thousand dollars to be buried here? I did. What was your reasoning? You say art. Did you look at Marilyn Monroe as art? Were you in love with Marilyn Monroe?
Marilyn, how do you feel about Hugh Hefner being buried next to you? <laughs> Do you have any issues with it? Hugh, do you have any regrets in life? What's the one thing you guys miss the most? No. Is it peaceful wherever you are? Do you have any regrets? Is there anyone else around here that wants to speak to me? someone to go back and find out when exactly did Rosemary and Mary Ellen first pop up. We need to get down to the bottom of this. Now, Marilyn, there's some rumors saying that there were some weird circumstances around you after you passed away. That your, that your body went missing for hours. Is that true? Terrible. We gotta look into that conspiracy theory. That's wild. Did people try to do things to you that they shouldn't have after you passed away? I know y'all just heard Rosemary. I know y'all just heard Rosemary. I know y'all just heard Rosemary. Y'all, please go back and find when Rosemary first popped up. We, Rosemary, are you still here? Yeah. Rosemary, who are you? Are you here to help us? Consistently? How long have you been with us? Is it your job to follow us everywhere? Let's say lights out. Have you been following me since lights out? Is it your job to protect me? Um, Listen, if it's your job to protect me, I know I'll put you in a lot of predicaments. So I just want to say thank you. When did you, did, were you ever alive, Rosemary? What year were you born? Uh, 
So when you passed away, were you assigned to watch over me? Okay. Maryland, back to you. How do you feel about people kissing your tomb? We just want to pay our respects to you. And you too, you. Do you mind me being here? I'm a friend. Marilyn, do you... Hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, you guys can come over. I was just... Yo, I apologize. Our Marilyn Monroe Hugh Hefner session got interrupted by some people trying to come visit Marilyn Monroe and Hugh Hefner, which is fair. But let me tell you what irritates me. You see me not bothering nobody, filming myself. You then walk up to me and ask me, am I filming you? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't even know you, lady. Move on. God dang. 